Good day, friends. It is me, H.O. Montec, and I am back with another sweet cardboard lesson. Friends, today we're going to learn how to assemble this sweet little Jeep that was created by Heath. So let's get cracking. All right, friends. So step one is to organize your parts. You can see I've got the centers. I've got three identical rectangles. I got one a little larger. The wheels, I've got the wheel caps. Two little square headlights. This is a beam that goes in the middle of the windshield. It's super easy to lose. I don't know if I've ever added one yet, but this time it came with me. Two doors, two straight doors, four edge panels. These are the parts the doors sit on. The frames are over here, and these are all my triangles. So let's get building. The first part we're going to assemble is all of these. Find this back edge. It has a little cut. That's going to be the rear of your vehicle. Make sure you've got those lined up and then make sure the ones that you're putting on the outside have a clean face. So you can see here I've got plain cardboard. Here I've got plain cardboard so I'm good to go. To attach these fast what I do is I lay out all but one. I'm going to set him up here and then I'm just going to do a strip of glue on all of them. Remember less glue is better than more. And then always cap your glue so that it way it's ready for the next part. And then just assemble from the bottom up. Remember this organization helps because you've got to keep this lip back here to the back. Also make sure you've got a straw piece so that you can hold these in the right place while you wait for them to dry. Because if you don't have a straight axle, then the rest of the project doesn't spin as well as it should either. For my axle straws, I use straws that are just under 7 centimeters across and you can adjust these later but having the straws in here now keeps this lined up as you build I'm making sure I put my rear to the back and now it's time to add these little sides once again making sure that you've got the little notch to the rear and then make sure with that notch to the rear you've got a clean side facing out so that'll be a clean side over here Let's add our glue. Once again, I'm going to put the glue on, put the glue on, cap it while I wait, get those two in place. So see how that lines up right with that edge? See how that lines up right with that edge? If you ever get glue on one of my little mats, do make sure you wipe it up. Get a paper towel over at the sink. And now let's add glue to the other two. Once again, keep that rear aimed the right way so you don't lose track of what you're doing. And keep your glue clap so you're ready for the next part. Double check that clean side facing out. Boom. Now find your three square pieces here. Two are going to go in the rear. So I'm going to put glue in this spot right here. And there goes piece one. And then the second one goes on top. And then I'm also going to put the glue up here for the front one. Let's cap that glue. And then what's going to happen is because you've got that part there, now it can slide up and give them something to lock against. Put the matching one on top. Put the other one in front. And now we can add this part. Once again, it's got the notch, so you can see it fits in there nice and slick. Glue, I'm going to put a tiny bit of glue up there so that attaches as well. I'll line that up when I get this other side attached again. Because you do want to make sure it stays flat. Once again, make sure you find the back side and slide it in there so it matches. Now we can attach our frames. Notice the back goes back here and these line up exactly with that bottom edge and front edge and this is where you'll have to slide this other piece to the front too so that it lines up because we're going on corrugated I do put a little bit more glue right here let's slide this into place making sure it lines up note when you've got this lined up right this edge right here is flush and the door fits inside the frame. There is nothing under that holding it together. Just so you know. 
the front popped off while I was aligning this, but that actually works out great so I can get that lined up better so those sides actually connect like they're supposed to. And let's flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. Once again, make sure you've got that sloped edge back to the back, and then this is going to line up right with that bottom edge. Let's add our glue up here, cap it so it's ready for next, and drop, and drop that part in place. Let's find the larger top piece now and drop it right in here. Once again, glue in both these spots. This is also nice because it connects these. This is also nice because it makes this whole connection up here a little stronger. Alright friends, so with those in place, it's time to glue in our little triangles in the back. I'm going to start by just adding some glue down here on the edge. I'm also going to add some glue to this edge. And then when you pull these out, make sure it's the 90 degree angle down. And just stick them all in. So I've got these all lined up so that they're going to glue the right way. And I'm just going to tap the glue. Remember, less is more with the glue. You get too much, you're going to make a mess. Cap it for a second while I get those all lined up and in there. If you've done it all correctly and tight, they will all fit. Add just a tiny bit of glue to this dude. And boom, our sloped back edge is groovy. Alright, so let's glue some wheels together. They go in threes. So that means you put glue on two at a time. And repeat that process for all the wheels. Make sure you've got a scrap piece of straw so you can line those wheels up and leave them to dry. Now let's add our doors. Make sure you've got a clean side facing out of your rear door and drop it into place. Then make sure you've got a clean side facing out of your front door and drop it into place as well. Switch sides and glue that in as well. This is a good time to get your hot glue gun plugged in. I'm going to add the back strip right here. It goes in this groove, and it gets glued on these sides, and it fits right in there. I'm going to cap my glue so it's ready for next, and use two hands to get this put in. There is your rear bumper. Let's go up to the front and find these two small pieces. They go in the center up here. Glue this one on first, making sure it's glued to the top and the back, so that way it's got two chances to attach. And then on the front of it goes the cool headlight grill. And then up in these spots, we put those tiny little headlights. Just like that. All right, friends, here's the wheel part. Uh, this is using hot glue, so be super careful. What I have you do is I have you slide the wheels all the way on. Then I have you slide on one of these caps. Push it down close. Put the tiniest bit of glue out here on the end. This is hot glue, so you got to make sure you don't burn yourself. If you use the big wheel to pull out the little disc, it's easy to get the little disc out there and then let it cool before you do anything else. Let's do that process on the back one. Slide it all the way on. Slide the cap past the end. Put the tiniest bit of hot glue out there. And then use the big wheel to pull that tiny cap out into the glue. Now I can grab it easily and give it time to cool. I'm going to pause the video, come back when it's ready. Test to see that your wheel does spin and you'll see that this does not spin because you gave it time. You do want to leave a gap on this so I'm going to pull this through but there is room so that the wheel can move in and out and then we're going to repeat the process on the other side. Once again slide the wheel past and because this is cooled, I can hold this cap over here as I'm pushing. And then I'm going to push this same cap in. Now remember, this is 7 centimeters. And it works out pretty nifty. Now I'm going to put a tiny bit of the glue here. Once again, the big wheel pulls the little cap out. And then I can grab the cap and just move it into that glue so it sticks. And one last time, we need to do it at the back. 
Slide that on, slide the cap on, put the glue on the very outside edge. And friends, we have got a sweet little car with wheels. Alrighty friends, so there you have it, the incredible Jeep created by Heath, one of my 8th graders, and all the steps to assemble it. Friends, I hope you have fun with this, I hope you mod it. If you do make something cool, don't forget you can share it with me. You can find me on Facebook and Instagram at HLModTech. You can also reach out on Gmail at HLModTech. You can also find me on Twitter, I am HLTankerCat, and then lastly, you can visit the HLModTech.com website. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me. HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.